Hey, I'm Ron Daler from Mastodon, and you're watching Rock and Metal News. Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with the Rock and Metal News CD review of the new Mastodon. The album is Once More Around the Sun, and it is the sixth studio album from Mastodon, it Was and it was released on June the 24th, 2014, through Reprise Records. Um, I was really anticipating the new Mastodon. I love the band. Uh, seen them live a couple times, and uh, also... Love the Hunter. Uh, we rated the Hunter as the number one album of 2011 when that came out. Uh, let's get into the new album. The first track is Tread Lightly. Uh, the track opens up with some acoustic uh, guitar strumming and a nice heavy power chord then brings on the heaviness in conjunction with one of Braun's patented snare drum fills. The song has a bit of everything. It's got heaviness. It's got halftime feels, great drumming, and some interesting lyrics. Uh, great opening track. So the song number two is The Motherload. Braun carries the main vocals on this one. I love his vocals. I am a big fan of all the different vocals in Mastodon, but I really do uh, love Braun's uh, vocals. I think he's an amazing singer. Uh, the track moves along with some great drumming, heavy chords, and it's a, a very catchy track. Uh, another good one. High Road, uh, that was the uh, first single that they released. Uh, what a cool, uh, heavy, interesting guitar riff. Uh, it's very deceiving as it appears. It's like it's a simple uh, kind of guitar riff. However, Mastodon adds some tricky time changes in it and uh, combined with some interesting uh, drumming and some tempo changes in the drumming, it's really effective. Uh, Braun sings the chorus in this one. Uh, this song definitely grew on me when I first heard it. I did think it was a bit simple for them, but uh, with a little twist in that riff and uh, the great vocals in it, uh, that song is actually one of my favorites on the album. Uh, Once More Around the Sun, sun uh, track number four, a uh, very atmospheric track, uh, moves along, but also has some interesting, uh, like a psychedelic feel to it, um, and it's got some really neat electric guitar uh, picking or hammer-ons, whatever they're doing in that. And number five is Chimes at Midnight. Uh, this one here has some great uh, harmonized riffing in this uh, in this track. Uh, it's got some great vocal trade-offs as well. Uh, Braun spices things up a bit uh, with some of the nice ride patterns. Uh, I notice he's, the drumming in this album is just amazing. He's a really unique drummer. Um, you know, his style kind of stays the same through all the Mastodon albums, but he's very he's got that uh, patented roles that he does is very uh, distinct for his uh, drum fills. Um, Troy lets loose with some nice heavy vocals in this one, especially near the end of the track. And uh, let's get into song number six, uh, which is Asleep in the Deep. Uh, love the offbeat snare beats in this track. Uh, Braun carries most of the vocals. Uh, the drum fills uh, are all over this track. That's what I like about him. He's just he, He's got fills all over the place. Uh, and the bass really stood out to me in this uh, track. Uh, number seven is Feast Your Eyes. Uh, fast track, Troy driving the vocals on this one. Uh, short, heavy, it's a three minute, 23 second track, right to the point. Uh, it's got a really nice musical break at the end. Uh, number eight is Aunt Lisa. A uh, really interesting riff in this track. Um, Braun handles most vocals, uh, some vocal trade offs in this one as well. Uh, different uh, vocal effects, I think, really highlight this track. Um, uh, they have some gang vocals at the end of the, the uh, song as well. Uh, it's got some kids or some girls, uh, uh, which uh, when I first heard it, it almost sounded a bit, a, a bit cheesy, but uh, actually it seemed to work when you kind of give it a chance. It uh, really was effective in this song. And number nine is Ember City. Uh, this just has some really sick drum fills in it. Uh, nice harmonizing guitars. Um, Troy is the main vocalist on this one. Uh, uh, Braun handles the chorus. Uh, he's just such an awesome vocalist. I'll have to state that again. He's just a, uh, an amazing singer. Um, and I think uh, this track has one of the best solos, if not maybe the best solo on the album. And number 10 was Halloween. Uh, this one here has a nice eerie riff uh, with some flange in it to start off the track. Uh, some interesting lyrics in this one. Uh, I think Braun uses a uh, like a chopper symbol in this as well. You can really hear the different uh, symbol effects in this track. And uh, he also had some really nice ride rhythms again. And uh, it has also a sweet guitar solo in that track. 
And number 11, uh, this track here, uh, really interesting. It features uh, Scott Kelly from Neurosis as a guest vocalist. Uh, the song is Diamond in the Witch House. And uh, this one here has uh, it's got some acoustic guitar uh, complemented with some electric uh, kind of moody guitar uh, chords in the background. Um, some parts of this track almost reminded me of a bit just a bit of Slayer's Dead Skin Mask. There's some, you know, some eerie guitar and some talking that kind of pans in, in the, in the uh, you know, across the speakers and that. And it's got this really, you know, uh, eerie talking and, and things like that in the background. Uh, let's call this track the darkest one on the album. It was a nice finish and it really added a lot of mood and darkness to the album at the end. Um, I really enjoyed this uh, track. I, I say if I would if I gave The Hunter a 10 out of 10 when it came out in 2011, I'm going to give uh, Once More Around the Sun a 9 out of 10. Um, I think Mastodon has carried on from The Hunter and at also at you know, adding some uh, elements of some of their previous albums, uh, maybe stuff sort of from Crack the Sky. I'd say a lot of this is almost like uh, Crack the Sky and The Hunter kind of mixed together. Um, it's not as all over the place as the hunter was the hunter had you know so many different types of, of tracks on it this one here is more you know refined and the the tracks aren't all over the place uh, there um, but uh, i really enjoyed it and i think uh, this album is one that will definitely grow on you um, you know the tracks they just start to stand out uniquely as you, the more you listen to it so good job from mastodon this is ron from youtube's rock and metal news thanks for tuning in